Hey guys, so earlier I was trying to upload a video with, um, well, doing my makeup using the products that I bought yesterday, but my video for some reason does not want to upload because um, it's uh, cut in pieces so I could only record like straight without um, pausing or anything. So uh, I'm going to take advantage and just do a whole haul because I went to Sephora and I spent some coins if you would say or money money that i usually can't spend but because i was able to do this for myself since you know we took care of our bills and um i got i'm getting my kids me and my husband are splitting it to get them tablets or no not tablets um ipads and they're not cheap and i still was able to have some money left for myself so that's why i got all this stuff because honestly i feel like i do deserve it because my job is intense my job is a lot of work so i decided to pick up a few things but i'm gonna show you because i think i yeah i posted a video yesterday and i was able to show you what i got but i'm gonna show you again if, just in case you haven't seen that seen that video and i used the, the um well, first let me show you i got the hollywood flawless filter and i got it in 5.5 tan and like I said, I recorded the video, but it wasn't letting me post the video. So now I'm going to do like a like a Sephora haul slash a few things that I got at Bath & Body Works. But it's not a lot of, it's just two sprays and another one that is the same as one of them because it was for free. But I was uh, going to show you how this looked. And I'm wearing it under my foundation and it's a, a tan shade. Like it's a little dark for my skin tone, but since it's so sheer and it's um like a glow i don't know how to describe it like it's uh i use it as a primer but you can use this item for different things like as a highlighter if you get a lighter shade or as a foundation even though it's super lightweight i mean it's um sheer so it's someone who wears like um more of a natural makeup look you could wear this but i use it as a primer because it has a glow and the foundation is a matte foundation so i wanted something that is not too matte so this is how it looks and uh and it and honestly at first i felt like my skin looked orange but after you i added the foundation it it went away it just gave me like a glow so it's just more to give you a glow and it's super pretty and like i said i got it in 5.5 tan and this one was um i'm not gonna say the prices because i don't know exactly how much everything was but i don't want to you know so yeah, so this is what I got first, and then I decided to get the foundation, which is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, and I got it in the shade 7.5 Neutral, and I was trying to get the warm, but I don't think they had it when I went around, unless I picked up the wrong one, and I didn't look, there was two different ones, one for warm and one for neutral, and hold on, where's my other lipstick? Give me one second because I don't want to pause the video because I don't want it to mess up my video. So give me one second. Sorry, so I'm going to reapply my lipstick because it's bugging me. And this is the one I got yesterday. A Sephora. Oh, Sephora. Sephora. And of course it looks extremely light but once you blend it. Sorry guys, if you can hear the background noise. Sorry, it's gonna look funny because I don't know when I apply a lip liner again. But I, oh well, first let me show you the um. Oh, I don't want to get the the foundation. And what I love about this foundation, it has a pump because um. Uh, the one that I have from Estee Lauder does not have a pump. The one from MAC does not have a pump. So I'm always over pouring it or wait, just wasting the product, you know. So I love that this one has a pump. And this one, um, I should have tried it first without the um, this filter, the flawless filter to see how it would really look on its own. Because like I said... Because um, this is supposed to be extremely matte, which I can see because when I was applying it, it is very matte. Not matte, very um, 
pigmented like full coverage but i kind of do feel like this kind of took a little bit of the matte away and it made it more of like a glowy um look but then i'm not 100 percent sure so i think i'm gonna next time i'm gonna try it just on its own to see if it makes a difference with it without this and um yeah so yeah and if whenever i want to just look more natural i'll probably wear this one even though it's a little darker than my shade but i can make it work with concealer and all that stuff so yeah so i got the filter and i got the foundation and um and i feel like it's a good match at first i wasn't 100 percent sure but after wearing it out and looking in the mirror and stuff it's perfect for me so yeah these are good i recommend yeah they're pricey but honestly i feel like skin stuff is worth it okay so that was that and then i had picked up i had picked up this sephora lip cream stain but it's a liquid lipstick in the shade 32 because the one i usually get is either i never know if it's 66 or 99 the number but that one's a a lighter nude but it's more of a i don't know oh, i mean they're both kind of the same but i feel like this one may be a tiny bit lighter and um so yeah but then i went to sephora again today and i decided to pick up two other ones and this one's a darker nude it's a light darker brown and this one's in the number 75 and then i got this burnt orange because i swatched it i fell in love this was 116 no i mean the number is 118 so i decided to pick those up too and let me just put them in this bag and then because i went to the one um i went inside the jc penny sephora I went inside Sephora and then I went to the outside Sephora at the mall. So when I went inside, I only picked up two things from there, which were these, um, this one that I've been looking for. I can't believe I found it. I was looking for the shade and I could not find it anywhere. And I don't know why I decided to go to the inside Sephora, even though there's really not a lot in there. But this was the only one there and it had the color that I wanted, which is pound cake. And I was like, it was meant to be. Because I've been looking for this powder for a very long time in this shade. So, yeah. So, I got it in Pound Cake. And I remember purchasing it a long time ago. And then I returned it because it was the wrong shade. And I still couldn't find, like, this shade. So, I'm glad that finally I found it. So, yeah. So, that's what I picked up at the outside Sephora. And the last thing I picked up. I mean, the inside Sephora. And the last thing, it was this anastasia soft glam i've been eyeing this one for the longest time and i've had it on my wish list for so long that i decided to finally pick it up because um i'm more into like you know now i want to wear like more neutral warms and stuff and look how pretty it is especially the black one and the burgundy and the browns and the neutrals like for um the crease so i'm excited to use this and make up some looks because usually i i just use um colorful colors that i have but now i'm happy that i was able to pick this one up so i'm excited to play with this and then at the inside i mean at the outside mall i got the lipsticks that i showed you from sephora and then i picked up this one from Too faced the melted matte and this one it's the same thing i this one i repurchased over and over and over again and this is my favorite formula besides the Sephora brand. But I used to have almost every color of this. But this time, I don't think they ever had this one before. It's called My Type. And it's like a pinky mauve nude. And I swatched it and I fell in love. So I picked it up. And I just love this formula. So I'm glad I picked that up. And then, let's see. I picked up this on a Stasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer in the shade Am Amber. Yeah, Amber. And I feel like it's going to be a little too warm, but I just fell in love with the shade when I swatched it. So I can't wait to play with this. And I heard really good reviews about this. And I know they said that the e.l.f. is like a dupe, but I wanted to try the real thing, the real deal, you know? So yeah, and maybe, you know, in the future, I'll try the drugstore one and I can compare them. And then 
I said yesterday that I was not gonna go pick up the Charlotte Tilbury um, the setting spray, but I decided to pick it up. I got the little one for twenty dollars, but since you know I have the foundation and the uh, filter, I decided to pick up this. And honestly, when I sprayed it at the store yesterday, I did like how it just kept my makeup on, so I did decide to purchase the little one just so I can try it, you know. And if I really do love it, I can always get the big one, but. For now, I got the little one because I picked up another setting spray, but the other one's luminous and it gives you hydration. And I tried it today at the mall and I just loved how my makeup looked. Like, I was obsessed that I had to pick it up. It's so pricey, but I feel like it's so worth it. And it's this one from Makeup, uh, from Milk. And it's called the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And it literally moisturized my skin. Like, it gave it a glow and like a... I don't know refreshing um look and it looks like this and oh my gosh i fell in love they had a small bottle but i i liked it that much that i decided to get the big bottle and they i thought they didn't have it and then the lady went to go look at, at in the back and they had it so that was a sign that i needed to pick it up so yeah so this is more to just melt the powder if your makeup looks too matte this will make it glowy but then to keep it on all day so it doesn't move, you add the Hi Papa, the Tolber, um, the Charlotte Tolbury. And then I also decided to pick up the Milk, the Grip Primer, the Hydro Grip Grip Primer. And I the same thing I heard that um, Elf has a dupe for this. But I still need to go try that one. So maybe one day I'll get the Elf the Cream bronzer to compare it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I'll try their primer from e.l.f. and compare it to this one but for now I got this and I'm excited because I know that everybody loves this primer and I remember a long time ago I got the um like a little sample and I did like it and then I tried some in my hand and I just loved how it felt and how it looked like very like um healthy looking you know so I'm excited to have finally a nice primer and um then i went to bath and body works and i decided to get um some body mist that i've been eyeing for a long time as well and the first one is called into the night and i almost picked up the big bottle but i wanted to try the little bottles first because i have a lot of perfume and body spray that i need to use up but i did fell in love with this scent this one's more of a mature very elegant like it, it smells the way that the bottle looks like i i see myself wearing this at a party i don't go to parties but like if you go to parties hang out with your friends day night i can see you wearing this one it's like a very elegant scent like it's almost it's like a perfume almost like a cologne perfume and it smells so good like it's more of the mature side but Anybody can wear it, but if you love mature, like, you know, very, like, elegant scents, I would recommend this one because it's pretty good for being from Bath & Body Works. Because to be honest, I'm not that crazy about the Bath & Body Works um, sprays, but this one, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I picked it up because I, I knew I was going to like it because when I saw people um, describing this, I knew I was gonna love it, so I'm glad I picked it up. I loved it so much that I got another one of those. Wait, and um, yeah, and then I wanted to try this one too because I heard a lot of people loving this one too. It's called You're the One, and this one's more like oh my gosh, it's more like sweet. Yes, Papa, I'm checking your room. This is more sweet and like. A little floral not really but i don't know it just smells so good it smells like raspberries this is more of a girly one like this one you can smell ah smell like we're doing the daytime and this one like nighttime and i don't know i just love 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 the scent it smells really good i recommend these so yeah really good for being from bath and body works and now i wish i kind of tried the perfumes but maybe in the future but bomb but anyways, guys, that's everything I got from Sephora and Bath and & Body Works. So I know 
it's a lot of money but like i said i was able to do it for myself because i worked really hard to get this you know and um this is only gonna be like once in a while not all the time but uh with that being said i'm still thinking of the giveaway i'm thinking maybe like a like a a body spray or mist whatever you call it or a makeup product because this channel was more based on the makeup and perfume well i don't have a lot of perfume videos but that's what i got the most views when i was reviewing my perfumes and stuff so maybe i'm thinking like something like a mist or a makeup product or what else um or something like around like something in that line or what is it and i don't know i'm not i'm kind of like out of it now <laughs> but anyways guys so don't worry i'm still trying to figure out that giveaway so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and just keep an eye for that video and yeah so anyways guys i love you have a good rest of your weekend and i'll see you guys later